we're getting a better picture of the devastation left behind after a strong tornado destroyed homes and tossed cars. That tornado killed one person when it tore through Perryville, about 80 miles south of St. Louis. Now we're hearing incredible stories of survival just 24 hours after hundreds took cover in their basements. We have live team coverage for you from Perryville. We begin with five on your side's Casey Nolan, who spoke with a woman who's grateful for what's left. Casey? Now, Mike and Kay, this is one of the hardest hit areas. No one but homeowners beyond this point and just beyond this point, it is easy to see why people think it must have been a miracle that no one in this part of town was seriously hurt. Like tornado sirens the night before, Wednesday's sounds warn life in Perryville is not normal right now. Just a lot of families are affected, a lot of families. A half mile wide tornado tracked 13 miles through Perry County damaging more than 160 homes. Down the basement, I was by myself, and I heard heard all the wind, I heard ripping and tearing. And Judy Lawrence's was one of the worst hit. I'm gonna tell you what I, what I saved. <laughs> A list much shorter than what was lost. The tornado took just about everything, except her clothes in a spared closet, and a ring with the inscription, Believe in Miracles. Uh, it was on my Chester jars in there, They're waiting for me to pick it up today. <laughs> and I believe in miracles, and I believe God totally totally helped me through this. And Judy's not alone. Just like her house here, it's estimated that throughout Perryville, there could be close to 90 homes that are just like hers, uninhabitable. They lost pretty much everything. They're just picking up the pieces. We're here to make sure they've got everything that they need. Governor Eric Greitens walked through one of the hardest hit areas, promising support from state agencies and commending the help that's already arrived. Everybody's come out to help their neighbors, and I'm really inspired by the way that Missourians are coming together to take care of each other here. Help this town will likely need for many weeks to come. You know my number two, whatever you need. Today, emergency officials said before more people try to come down and volunteer, as grateful as folks here are, they hope others will wait until the effort can be organized because there are still some dangerous conditions down here with down power lines and a lot of debris around. And again, as for injuries, with the exception of the fatality near the interstate, no one, we're told, was seriously hurt. Live in Perryville, Casey Nolan, five on your side. Here's a look at the destruction by the numbers. One person died, a 24-year-old Perryville man named Travis Koenig. At least 12 others were injured. Fortunately, the injuries were not life-threatening. The Perryville fire chief says the twister was on the ground for about 13 to 15 miles. It started in Missouri before hitting Illinois. Firefighters say the tornado damaged more than 160 homes. The National Weather Service is still assessing the wind speed. Perryville schools will be closed tomorrow and they'll remain closed as crews clear debris. A father of two rushed his family into the basement moments before the tornado tore apart his home and at one point he thought they weren't going to survive. Five on your side's Christina Coleman is live in Perryville with his story. The road to this man's house is now blocked off but he described to us exactly how it felt when this tornado hit his home. And it, it shook so hard like your eyes were moving in your head. Scott Abernathy says powerful storms shook his home while he huddled in the basement with his wife, seven-year-old daughter, and 13-year-old son. Ears were popping, house was shaking. It was, it was bad. Abernathy says it was the worst 15 seconds of his life. He thought they were going to die. It was just a couple seconds into it. I thought it was over. I figured it would suck us right out of the house because it was so strong. But the twister continued on its path of destruction. And inside of here is the basement of Abernathy's home. He says when he walked upstairs after the tornado passed by, this is what he saw. There were no walls around him. It was a very painful moment. It's a nightmare. Everything you work for every day in 15 seconds is gone. But as his family and others came through the debris and destruction, this means everything. And so they pulled this out and it's not nothing wrong with it. You could be wiped off. Abernathy and his family were still standing. He's grateful they survived. Everybody's safe. We're good. We're gonna make it. 
Abernathy had his home built 13 years ago. He also had three cars. They were also destroyed in the storm. And as of right now, he and his family are staying with relatives. Reporting live in Perryville tonight, Christina Coleman, five on your side. Firefighters say many of the damaged homes are in no shape to live in. It could take weeks, maybe even months for Perryville to recover. Five on your side's Mike Rush toured one of the hardest hit neighborhoods. The damage in this North Perryville neighborhood is far reaching and just overwhelming from overturned trees to damaged cars to structures that have just disappeared. There used to be shed right over here. Authorities say more than 100 homes were damaged or destroyed. That's an early estimate. Perryville's mayor tells me he knows of at least 15 houses wiped clean from their foundations, which is why it's pretty amazing only about a dozen people were hurt with only minor injuries. Still, it's a long and emotional road ahead for so many people who lost everything. It's just overwhelming right now. Um, so many things that I can't find, you know. My wedding rings, my husband passed away several years ago, and. You know, the stuff that really means something to you, you can't find. The mayor says about 60 families have lost everything in this tornado that ripped through about 13 to 15 miles of this area. Reporting from Perryville, Mike Rush, five on your side. The tornado reduced a car lot to rubble. When first responders arrived on the scene last night, they found cars piled up on I-55. The tornado picked the vehicles up from a nearby mechanics shop and tossed about 15 of them onto the interstate. The owner says the tornado damaged roughly 40 vehicles. Family and friends are helping the business owner pick up the debris. He says it could take weeks, maybe even months, to fully clean up and recover. The storm is affecting generations of families, wiping out a lifetime of memories in just seconds. Duncan Haas spent the day salvaging what he could from his grandmother's Perry County home. The storm leveled the house. But it could have been much worse. His brother-in-law and three-year-old son were inside the home and left just 10 minutes before the storm hit. His grandmother is in Chicago having surgery. Her husband died a few, about a year ago, and this, this is it. So, I mean, everything she owns is in this house. All she took to Chicago is clothes. So, photo albums, everything about her kids, everything's here. So what we can't get is going to be gone. They were able to recover the family Bible. Haas hopes to rebuild. There was a sign of hope today in Perryville. Neighbors worked together to save a cat lodged underneath a pickup truck. Rescuers say the cat used the vehicle to take cover from the tornado. Luckily, the cat found shelter and weathered the storm. Now they're working to reunite the cat with its owner. Damage from last night's storms stretched across the river into Illinois. In Maryville, hail the size of golf balls, shattered windows, punched holes in siding, and damaged cars. Strong winds also uprooted trees across the Metro East. Ameren, Missouri and Ameren, Illinois crews still working to restore power. There are about 5,000 outages for Ameren customers on both sides of the river right now. That's down from almost 40,000 outages. The power company in Perry County reports about 900 outages. Illinois Governor Bruce Rauner toured storm damage in Naplate, Illinois today. As many as six tornadoes swept through northern Illinois. The National Weather Service says some were EF3 twisters and packed wind gusts up to 155 miles per hour. Two people died. A dozen others were hurt. The fire chief says the tornado damaged 50 of the town's 200 homes.